controversial Texas bill would force schools to out LGBT students to their parents in certain situations. We're going to tell you all about this new proposed bill and what it can mean here on IO. Hey guys, what's going down? I'm Charlotte. And I'm Jared. Okay, so before we get into this video, here's a question for you. Did you ever tell a teacher or a guidance counselor something that you didn't want your parents to know? Let us know in the comments below. It's a good question though. I'm trying to think of if I... I definitely did, for sure. I don't know if I did. I was very open with my parents about almost everything. Maybe you weren't LGBT. You're totally right. A Texas lawmaker, Senator Connie Burton, is under a lot of scrutiny for a bill she has filed called SB 242. The bill mandates that schools would disclose information to parents regarding a student's psychological well-being. This could mean telling the parents of LGBT students of their sexual orientation against their will. This is obviously quite concerning because coming out to your parents is so difficult, and it needs to be done when you're ready, and not before then. The proposed bill would allow parents full access to written records held by the school that had anything to do with their emotional, psychological, and physical well-being. If a school or school employee withheld any of this information from a child's parents, they could be subject to discipline. That includes information that relates to a student's sexual orientation or preferred gender. Burton said about the bill, Our schools are a place of learning. They are not replacements for the support and love of the family. Okay, so I mean that's all fine and good, but some students may be looking for people to confide in, and sometimes that's another guardian in their life, like a teacher or a guidance counselor. I I know I had a very open, honest relationship with some of my teachers, and I would tell them things that I was too scared to tell my parents. It really helped me. Burton's chief of staff, Elliot Griffin, argued that these guidelines limit parents' access to information about their children. It stated that school personnel may only share this information on a need to know basis or as the student directs. But those conditions haven't stopped LGBT advocates to speaking out against the bill. It depends what a teacher or school employee thinks is information that the parent needs to know. The new civil rights movement had something to say about the bill. They said, SB 242 would place LGBT youth in the conservative state at a risk for abuse, neglect, or suicide if their parents aren't accepting. It could even expose them to the dangerous, discredited practice of reparative therapy or conversion therapy, which happens to be endorsed in the Texas GOP platform. So, guys, what do we think of this possible bill that could be passed? I think, in theory, it's a good idea to look out for the emotional well being of a student, but you gotta take into account that sometimes children don't have the most open, accepting parents or relationships with their parents. That is very, very true. Especially when it comes to someone's sexual orientation. I mean, some people don't come out until they're, you know, adults in their 30s or 40s or even 50s because they just don't feel comfortable. And some people never come out because they don't want to hurt their parents. And at the end of the day, guys, love is love. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Charlotte. My name's Jared. And you have just been informed. See you guys later.